Hey guys, Barry here and welcome back to the IGS podcast and this is absolutely fantastic. Just last month I had Hannah Tell from Life is Strange 1 and of course Before the Storm the prequel. But here we have Sarah J. Bartholomew as well. She plays Cassidy from Correct and Life is Strange 2. You know? Yep. So uh, <laughs> as an Ireland we say, what's the crack? What's <laughs> the crack? Uh, I'm walking my puff right now. So that's the crack at this very moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that weird for you to say that? The crack. <laughs> no, not really. Well, maybe. I don't know, but I lived in um the UK for a bit, so I'm kind of I'm kind of familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like was there many Irish people living, I guess, you know, in college there with you or yeah, like around that area? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um it was hard for me to understand them when I first met them, but <laughs> <laughs> but I made it. I figured it out. Um, but yeah, no, there's a, there were like a couple because I went to a um, conservatory, so it was definitely like a smaller school, you know. So we all knew each other. Um, yeah. And yeah, there were definitely. Yeah, a I guess of people you, you, from can, uh, you can clearly tell that Irish people look like me too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for people who don't know who you are, tell us a bit about yourself anyway and what you do like. Oh, um I'm <laughs> I'm <laughs> from <awkward>. California. <laughs> like, who am I? What am I? I don't know. You're Jean Valjean. When am I? <laughs> yeah, I never know. Um yeah, I'm from California. I grew up here. Um I grew up by the beach and everyone just automatically assumes that, that means you're like a a surfer and I'm absolutely not. I'm terrified of the ocean, so that's a cool fun fact. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm terrified to go in it. I love I'm walking to it right now. It's beautiful. But um, nice. <laughs> Yeah, but I grew up just dancing pretty much every day and that was basically my life. And um it was amazing. And yeah. Just kinda go where the wind blows. I never know seriously where I am or when I am. I'm just like, here I am right now and this is what's happening, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, but like you but, are a, like a triple threat. You're a singer, you're an actress, and you're a dancer as well. Yeah, so um I've kind of been doing that my entire life. It just kind of was. It was never like, what am I gonna do? It just I think I started making shows and performances when I was little with my cousins for my family <laughs> and I remember always being like really upset that my aunts and uncles didn't want to watch <laughs> and they would and yeah I don't know um it's kind of one of those things where it's like I want everyone to watch and then like the older you get you're like don't look at me don't look at me yeah, I'm doing yeah. this in my own time <laughs> you're not allowed to see it yeah. you know so um but yeah I've been pretty much doing that forever and I, I'm sorry I'm spinning a lot. My dog has a very <laughs> sporadic walking pattern, so I got to do a lot of twists and turns. That's all good. Um, and uh, yeah, so I grew up doing that here and doing theater and everything, and then I decided to go to um, London to study, and I did dance and theater over there and got like just more technical training. Um, not that I didn't have it before, but just more in depth and mm. um and then yeah and now I'm back in LA I hadn't done film and for voiceover work until I moved back to LA and um it's a whole different world but also very similar but um yeah the theater is where I started and where my training is and um I love it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So I guess tell me like the dancing that you, that you learned in the UK compared to performers as well in California. Like, is there like did you notice a difference at all in kind of like I guess maybe like styles? You know, if that makes any sense, technique as well. Yeah. Um. So I I'm definitely like I'm from LA, but like not LA LA. I'm like a small little bubble of LA down by the beach. So it's not. I'm not, I didn't get, like, the, the L.A. training. I mean, not to say that it wasn't um, good training. It definitely was. I think it was just different. Mm. Um, I Technique was a huge part of it. And but my teacher was very uh, theatrical with 
the pieces. So everything kind of started from an acting standpoint, um, which always made the most sense to me. It's like, what am I, what am I feeling? Where is this movement coming from? Like, what am I sharing with the audience? And what is this making them feel? And what am I feeling through this movement? Um, and so we did a lot of, she was a Fothy addict <laughs> and um and tap and so that was kind of like my training growing up um hated ballet it was my least favorite thing ever and then um and then I went to London and I did a lot more contemporary and um ballet and found improv and just kind of free dancing rather than having because growing up it was like very specific you know you have to put your finger and your shoulder in this exact spot this is you know we were a competition team so it was very like unit dancing we were all exactly the same and it it was amazing like my teacher was a genius the things that we would do were just like extremely beautiful because it was so clean and so mm. precise but it was nice to kind of break free from that and just move you know yeah. So that's kind of what I think I found um, once I moved to London, not necessarily at school, like at school, it was kind of outside of school um, because I just needed that freedom in my body. So, yeah, and the different, I mean, you know, I went to school right down the street from Sadler's Wells. So there were just so many amazing dance shows that you get to go, which is like a, um, a theater for dance specifically. And um so I got to see a lot of pieces there and I felt spoiled just seeing the different types of dances from all over the world. I think in LA, it was very much so just growing up, it was like what I was doing and then the competitions I went to, but then going to London, it was like, wow, you see everything from so many different cultures and just everything kind of mixing up together. And it was, um, yeah, I think that's kind of where like the, also the freedom came because it was like seeing new things and not not seeing everything be so specific and uh clean cut there was a little bit more like gruff to it which was nice yeah yeah and now like if you had to pick one for the rest of your life would it be acting would it be i guess singing or would it be dancing oh um i think for my soul, like, I mean, my body can't do a lot of things that you used to be able to do just because of what <laughs> your body goes through in dance. But like, yeah. I have to be able to dance, <laughs> not even professionally. Like, I don't even care about professionally. So like in terms of not, not even talking about work and jobs or anything like that, it's like, I just have to be able to move whether I like I'm sitting or standing or driving or anything. It's just dance has to be a part of my life because it's kind of the only way I can move through things mm -hmm. in my mind <laughs> it's uh yeah it's like my soul food that's how I talk about it it's literally my soul food and I just um I'm really thankful that I still have it because I know I I know a lot of people kind of walk away from it because they get discouraged either by teachers or themselves or too hard on themselves and just kind of lose touch with it and then they lose touch with their bodies and it breaks my heart because it's like you don't have to you don't have to look or be a specific way in dance even though the world kind of tells you you do and it's kind of like you can have it for your own your own state of mind it doesn't have to be for a performance or for a job or for this or for that so that's how I need it in my life and that's why I would say that's because also I feel like everything is encompassed in the movement. It's like without the body, it's like I wouldn't have the acting or the singing. It's like it, it all works together, yeah. you know. Um, but it's all just expression and therapeutic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Nice one. So I guess let's kind of kick into games now. Like, Did you play many games growing up? Yoshi's World was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I beat it. I won. I remember I won and I was like so stoked. And then I finished and I was like, oh, 
That's okay, it. I'll play again. I'll I'll play it start again. Over. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite. And I like, um, I always forget the name of it, but he's like that. He kind of looks like a little mouse and had like spiky blue hair. Um, I forget the name of it. Sonic? Donkey Kong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Donkey Kong. Yeah. Donkey Kong's a gorilla. It looks like me a wee bit, but <laughs> no, yeah, no, I know, yeah, no. So separately, it was Sonic yeah. and Donkey Kong, <laughs> not this, not one in the same. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, Mario Kart was always a favorite. Mm. <laughs> um, I actually recently just got like the old console, but it's not you don't you can't use the games anymore. The games are just like set up on it. Mm -hmm. so it's like Nintendo. Um. And it's like really old school games. It's really funny. But I do it. I realize I get so bored so quickly because I'm just like, wait, this is just one world. Like you don't move. Like it's just the same world. Yeah. But it's fun. It's cool. But um it's very, very nostalgic. But yeah, Yoshi's World was definitely my favorite. Interesting. <laughs> no one's ever said that to me before. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why yeah. but it was. <laughs> So, okay, I guess let me ask, when did you get introduced into the world of Life is Strange? Mm, so, once... Well, because when they cast us, like, when I got the email and stuff, it, um, it, they, there wasn't the title of the game anywhere. Yeah. Like, that. like we didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. And I, I think because of, like, NBA purposes on our end, it's just, like, we... I don't think they wanted us to know yet or something. I don't know. Or maybe they, I, I'm not sure. No, first. Um, and then the director told me to watch it. So, um, and then the episode came out. So I think it was just kind of all encompassed in that. But I had done a lot of recording sessions, maybe not a lot, maybe it was like one or two and not um, having really known yet. And then once I did, I was like, oh, I, d I just didn't know video games had like, into that i guess i knew but not to that extent mm -hmm. um, super cool super different not yoshi's world anymore <laughs> <laughs> big difference there you know talks about like real life I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like uh, i guess yeah, with yeah. adult content and you know and uh <laughs> you know yeah we're not dinosaurs <laughs> doing backflips anymore we're just real humans <laughs> making decisions in life <laughs> yeah or throwing knives at a bloody at, at the trees or something you know <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, did you actually? I wonder. We're doing things. Did you contact any of the uh, of the cast from beforehand, like Hannah or no. or any of them? No, no. like did you even talk to them ever in your life? Like, um, no, I hadn't contacted them. I think it was after the the first episode came out that Cassidy was introduced that I started like people started interconnecting and cyberspace and instagram world and so then i was kind of seeing the world that um i was involved in and yeah so that's kind of when i started uh talking to people and stuff and but not yeah we just kind of reached out to each other congratulations yay it's exciting it came out it's awesome um but yeah no i don't we didn't talk while i was recording yeah no but like i mean like what you uh, like have achieved is just fantastic but like but i mean like 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 the height that life is strange has reached i think like today in gaming you know millions yeah. of people play the game yeah yeah it's um it's crazy it's really cool i guess it's scary it's extremely weird well you know yeah but at the same time it's like I don't know i remember the games that i used to play when i was younger was like yeah i want to be inside a video game like when i wasn't playing yoshi's world it was like <laughs> how do we make this like a video game and blah. it's like that's it's interactive and um i guess that's what draws people in is like you get to be even more a part of it and more involved and um but I would imagine it'd be hard, like, even when I binge watch a series or something, it's, like, hard to get that out of my head after a couple, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, those characters yeah. and those people, it's, like, you're, like, so emotionally involved in what's happening. So I would imagine it'd be hard to 
somewhat detach and like go into the real world after that yeah and, and um not be influenced by it or or reacting to it in a way yeah i was saying to hannah beforehand that i what is it i got life is strange one originally when it came out and then just like maybe after a year i just kind of got back into it i played like maybe the first uh up to like maybe halfway through episode two and then, then I, I just stopped for some reason and then i went back i just had this 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 craving for playing the game again for some reason so i decided to play the prequel first and okay. you know, and then playing the original game but like i just binge played the whole game and i just got so emotional with max mm. and chloe's relationship right and but i mean like it was just so heartbreaking to, to see her go you know, right. Max, like, I guess, in, in the prequel game. And then, like, even them, like, even, like, when uh, Chloe was in the, the the bed at her house, you know, like, with the, with the different timelines and stuff, you know, and just, and, like, even the end of the game, holy crap. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it's just, you do, you get emotionally involved in these characters. And then when, it's almost like it becomes a part of, your life especially because you're allowed to dictate what happens in mm. the life so then you're you're a part of it you're a part of that decision making and then it yeah it's like how do you not become emotional i think that's the point though it's like i guess what i was saying with the with dance growing up it's like the audience has to feel something and i was actually with a director the other day and he was um we were working on projects together and it's just like the audience has to participate. Like we can't just give it to them. Yeah. Not even just specifically in, you know, an interactive video game. It's just like, we can't just give everybody the, the like, specific answers that they have to participate and be a part of it and um, use their own minds to, to delve into it. And that's what art is. It's not just for the creator, it's for the audience as well and what they, how they take it on and what it means to them. Cause it's going to mean something different to everyone because of everything we've gone through up until that point, you know, yeah, we're kind of reacting and responding to everything that we've already gone through as well. So, yeah. So like, I guess we have a lot in common, you know, I've like, I do theater as well, you know, singing. I, I guess I, I originally started dancing when I was nine years old and that's how I got into, you know, showbiz and whatever. But uh, yeah. what would be your favorite dance show to do? Favorite dance show or like musical or like oh, one that oh, I've yeah, done sorry, like favorite life. musical with, with dancing, yeah. Favorite musical with dancing. Um, so my mm, my favorites change in life all the time, but <laughs> my very first um, like the first Broadway memory that I have was seeing. Sutton Foster uh, in Thoroughly Modern Millie. Okay. And that always like sticks out in my head because we were really close to the front too. And this was like the beginning of her. That was like her like breakout time, I think. At least was for me in my life. That was her like the first time I had ever seen her. And um and so that that memory always is like super ingrained in my brain in that show just um because I was like so obsessed with tap growing up, like just fun and kooky and quirky, but also in the in the roots of like musical theater and everything. But um, I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite because sometimes it's nice to take all of those elements and separate them, like the singing, dancing, and acting. And I think. I think um, sometimes I can, like, you get to see, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You get to see more of it without the others, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's like yeah. you can put them all together and create something. And then when you separate them, it's something completely different. So I think it's hard to say what a favorite is because there's so many different, like, versions of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> that can exist. Um but, you know, a lot now that people are playing around with different things and not necessarily making it like a classical musical and there's a lot of immersive experiences. And I think 
immersive theater is my favorite now um just because you do it it is kind of like that that video game thing where you get to literally step into a world and be a part of it and interact with it and um so I've kind of been obsessed with that lately and finding those and and that that's actually something I first found in London was immersive theater and um it blew my mind totally blew my mind and those are kind of always original pieces or they've taken something that exists and manipulated it and turned it into their own unique creation so it's always been something really authentic and special um and really like just raw and deep and you're right there like you're not you're not like separate you're extremely a part of it going back on that like the audience has to be a part of it so you're just you're right there with them you know yeah so it um i think those are my favorite theatrical experiences yeah would you be any good at uh, irish dancing <laughs> oh my gosh i've never tried but some of my friends growing up were um a part of competition teams and so i'd watch them a lot I think I'd have a really hard time keeping my arms down. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be like, I want to move my arms. Yeah, yeah. But like, see, like tap is very similar, you know. It's it's, yeah, it's all true. feet, yeah. Yeah, that's super true. Um, any ideas? Come on in. Um, <laughs> she's freaking out. Opus, it's okay. She's freaking out by a surfboard right now. It's okay, yo. Come here. Would you be, uh, um, like, yeah, no, like, would you know the uh, the Pirate Queen musical? No, it was actually, it was first on, on Broadway, maybe what year was it? Was it 2005? Um, I, I could be wrong, I, I don't know, I can't remember how old it is, but I mean. The, actually, they're funny. The choreographer originally is is from is uh, is local here, in Dundalk, where I live here oh, in Ireland. Way. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so like she traveled to Japan and stuff, done the dancing there, and like oh, wow. it's only ever been done twice in Ireland, and we were one of the groups that done it here, and that's you know awesome. she taught us the dancing. But I mean, like, I guess oh, so cool. the the experience is just incredible. You know, I'm terrible at Irish dancing, but like the like the better ones at the front, <laughs> yeah. you know. The people yeah. can who can actually Irish dance, you know. I guess I'd be better at, I guess, the uh, I guess singing, you know, and acting. But like, <laughs> yeah, we never did it, but I do know. Actually, we did do like a a mock one. It was called like River Dance growing up, and we took it to competitions, and we did have yeah. yeah, it was keep your arms down, and I mean it was tap, but she was basing it off of yeah yeah Irish dancing, um, and that was a lot of fun. It was very intricate and and the it's just cool like their feet are instruments and that and it's just like it's like sat I always equate it to like being as satisfying as like solving a math equation <laughs> when you get like a, a tap um phrase down it's just like wow I did it and I don't know it's cool communicating to your feet like that and like having your body be an instrument like that mm. yeah yeah, so we actually got a question here on Instagram. Will okay. we, uh, if, uh, what is it? Are we going to hear the full version of I Found a Way, my first aid kit, by you? Oh, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> but like, I, e- even like online somewhere, even you record it, you know. <laughs> just me in my own life? That's yeah. possible. I get, you know, we have technology to do these things in a few yeah. seconds now. I guess that's possible. Yeah, because, you know, I actually did, I think, record the whole thing at one point, and then it wasn't the whole thing. Yeah. Um, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a good enough answer? Yeah, no, it does. Yeah, no, but no, but like it, your, your version is, is absolutely uh, gorgeous. I think the way you do the song. Thank you. Yeah. The um. It's interesting because of the musical theater training and all that. It was, I've had to kind of um, like untrain my voice in some ways Mm -hmm. just to let it be more human again. And um, that was definitely something that I worked on with the director for Cassidy. And, you know, I listened to it and there's some moments where I'm like, ah, 
that's not how I, but then it's nice because it's like you feel what she's feeling I feel like rather than it being like this super manufactured way of singing it yeah especially that song because it's so like beautiful and um dreamy almost it's just it was hard to let go of being specific and trying to be perfect with it and that was um and just like letting go of the training and but the director was super awesome with that and we just kept playing around and then like I was talking about with dance and movement it's just the acting has to be the, the driver yeah for anyone for anyone to feel anything and that was that was a big part of singing both of her songs um yeah yeah, but I find that the song, like, listen to the actual, like, the real track, it's so easy to listen to. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, and their harmonies are beautiful. Just yeah. Like, Two girls, isn't it? Right in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah first aid kit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. I'm, I wouldn't expect them to be Swedish, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't come across because as Swedish, the- you know. <laughs> no yeah that's very true yeah i don't think i've ever thought about that but yeah i definitely listened to them growing up but i think i had like two or three songs that i like would just play on repeat yeah. um yeah, yeah. but yeah my brother and i were kind of obsessed with harmonies growing up and that and they were definitely a part of that yeah so like you have uh three brothers of them correct Two. Two, two sorry. brothers. Two brothers, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, there's three of us and two brothers. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, uh, like, would they be in, into video games at all? Yeah, when we were growing up, but no, I don't think now. Um, I don't think. Yeah. But maybe. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess, uh, yeah. like, uh, have you been, uh, well, you don't have to say what, you, what exactly you're doing, but I mean, like, have you... Been in, uh, I've been contacted by many other, I guess, game developers, you know, to be in other games as well, I guess, voice or, you know, I guess, parents or whatever. Um, I've definitely had more auditions in, in voice work and playing around with it. And, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. I know, that's fine. It's all, you, look, you can tell me after we're finished. I actually don't know. I actually don't know, so I'm, yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm like, I'll stop there. Yeah, that's but, fine. Um, but yeah, I'll just say that it is it is just interesting, like, what the what is being created in the video and, like, VR and... Uh, I'm blanking on the other word, but just... Um, the worlds that are being created in technology, you yeah, know, which is kind of, I think that's more like what I'm seeing when I when I get more things coming in. I'm like, whoa, wow, okay, that's cool. Like, yeah, that's a story being told this way, you know. It's cool. I say ages ago that I want to see Life is Strange VR happen. <laughs> I could totally see that, right? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be super cool. I was actually talking to someone the other day about how like video games are morphing into that just and um they're gravitating towards mover like people that are more that are in their bodies so that they can do the motion capture yeah of like a full a full body not just a voice anymore Mm -hmm. um but even in you know quote just her voice it's like the body's always involved but (laughs) um but yeah, they were talking about how like video games are moving towards that. Um, so I'm sure it's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, like check out games like uh, bloody The Last of Us. You know, I don't know. Like, did you ever played that Say game that before? Uh, the Last of Us. Like, check out games like The Last of Us by, from Naughty Dog. No. Uh, but like, I th- like no, but like the new game, it's like literally all motion capture. It's voice as well, but like it's even like facial capture as well. It's absolutely amazing, being incredible that the, the wow. technology has come. Like, yeah, yeah, it's nuts. It's like it's here. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess like it, like it is expensive, right? Yeah, I would imagine that. 
<laughs> Sorry, a dog meat. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> a little dog, dog meeting. Dog meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah. like, what 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 would be your favorite to do? Uh, favorite thing to do in, uh, in in California? Like, if you're not kind of singing, dancing, or whatever, you know. Um, definitely walking with my dog in different places. Uh, because even though I said I'm terrified of the ocean, it's a very calming place to be, and um, it's really. You kind of just get to zone out and enjoy the nature and everything. And um, I don't know, like I feel like that's what I give myself on my days off or my time off or anything like that is just kind of getting out in the sun. <laughs> yeah, get, and, and hanging get out with my pup. And, <laughs> yeah, well. I don't really get those, but um, <laughs> I get burned and then that's, you know, but yeah, I would say the nature and the, and the sun and the ocean and just hanging out with my pup or honestly, the, that's what I first gravitate toward. Mm. Now, I guess, tell me, like, is there much of a comparison with you and Cassidy? Like, like, have you got much in common or are you like completely different people from your experience? Mm. Um, I feel like just in the the drifting aspect of just kind of going wherever the wind blows, I feel like I'm just kind of always living or residing in a different place like every other month. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just kind of hopping around and not ever, it's kind of like after a while you just you become your own home and that, but there's something like exhilarating in that. Um, just kind of that nomad feeling of just like hopping from one place to the next, especially growing up. Like I was, uh, especially when I was studying in, in England, I just kind of was hopping around and, you know, you meet all different kinds of humans and I think I said this in the interview with um I'm blanking on the the website name but um it's just kind of when you have in conversations with people in those travels you're just it's it's very dreamlike because you It, like it's like we're all interconnected in some way even though we're so far apart and have never met before and it, you just kind of hear about these things that people have gone through in a whole other way and but we're still relating and understanding and being compassionate and empathetic and um i feel like for Cassidy, the, the people that she cares about are the most important and she kind of creates her family wherever she goes and I feel like that's something that just happens naturally when you're constantly moving around you know um yeah. and it's it's beautiful you just the relationships that I have kind of all around the world I I feel like are what have made me and uh I still keep in touch with them all the time but not even you know it's like we understand that we have our own lives wherever we are and then when we come together it's like we're family again you know yeah, yeah. so yeah so yeah what was your i guess personal reaction to okay i am giving spoilers but i mean like i guess the sex scene and I, like even the kiss and everything happened like what, what i know this might sound funny but i mean like like it was just so unexpected i guess for, for the I viewer just didn't know, i for me, it was more like I didn't know they put that in video games. That was my reaction. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh. This, this, okay. this isn't Yoshi's Island anymore. <laughs> no, this is not Yoshi's Island anymore. We are a very different world. So yeah. that was that was my reaction. Um, but, I mean, it's in movies. So what, like, what, you know, what's the difference? Yeah. Really. 
Yeah, here, what yeah. age is uh, Cassidy? Do you, do you think? Uh, early 20s, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Alright, no, because I, I just, I hadn't a clue what age, because there's no age mentioned at all in the game. Yeah, I mean, I always just, yeah, she's early 20s. I mean, I think she left home a lot earlier than that, but yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I, I guess I guess play a little game here. What word? Okay, let's let's try one word here. What would you describe okay. Finn? Say that again. What? Okay, what? Uh, which one word would you describe this person? So Finn. Oh, ah. Uh... Oh gosh. <laughs> Maybe asshole, because he he just. I know, but then I don't, I guess maybe this is me just trying to like understand everyone and everything and like understand the reasoning behind it. But I just, I think he's like lost and guarded. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's a reason why people are assholes. They're not just mm -hmm. assholes because it's fun. Yeah. It's usually because they're trying to build up walls around something and it's usually pain. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah, you know, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, I yeah, sure. It's like yeah, he's an asshole, but why? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I feel like I feel like Cassidy knows those things too, but she also doesn't let people get away with that all the time. You yeah, know, yeah. I feel like she can understand the why, but doesn't. Yeah, she's not gonna let that slide just because she knows that there's a why. You know? <laughs> uh, Sean. I mean, um, I keep coming back to unique only because, I mean, I know he tries to hide his, his like not knowingness a lot, but yeah. at the same time, like his, um, when he does allow that honesty to come through, it's like, it's unique because a lot of people try and like hide that you know what about uh, Daniel well <laughs> 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 um... <laughs> I'll just go with my gut he's free but i think he's free because with like he because of what he has and he doesn't want to be controlled and not allowed to be free so it's like he wants to be his own person yeah yeah you see with daniel it's like like if i if i had a like if i had him as a son I'd kill him. Hmm. <laughs> Just the way he goes on, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's interesting. But I guess I, for me, it's so hard to only say one word about people because it's just there's yeah. there's so many layers. Like I don't think anyone anyone can be described as one thing ever because there's so many reasons to to that one word. So that's probably just me being an over overthinker and not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not allowing my mind to just settle on something. Let's see, who else will we talk about? Uh... Okay, Max. <laughs> hmm. Are you gonna edit this so that there's not all this like time in between? I can, but I mean, like, it doesn't like it's me. Like, 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 like you said, let it flow. <laughs> it's casual. <laughs> it's casual. I guess it, I think she's well. Uh, maybe I, I'd use sweetheart to describe her. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Yeah, it's like, 
she's so quiet. I just want to hug her, you know. Just you know, it's not fair the way she gets treated. <laughs> right, right. It's like let like hold whatever you're feeling, sort of, and not just let it. I feel like when people are quiet, they're they're just like holding back so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes when when it, people are sweeter, it's like you're not. It's because you're like afraid to say the the wrong the things thing. that are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like let's always be nice, but who not? Yeah, and yeah. See, I guess like if let's say about ten years ago, like I was really quiet, and then there's a point where like I got picked on so many times, like I just got. Like, excuse the language yeah. but like fucking sick of it <laughs> yeah totally and then just you know yeah. just like that there you know just I guess stuck up for myself <laughs> yeah you have to eventually <laughs> I know yeah at some point you get sick of it for sure uh, cause it's just like yeah did you feel like that was like a, a conscious shift in your brain or was it just like all of a sudden like here I am and you're like oh I didn't even know I was holding that back yeah well I, I don't know well maybe but I mean like okay I'm not trying to sound bad towards my family but I'm actually adopted right okay and I guess I like growing up like even my own brothers and sister like you know just be, like being racist towards me you know calling me black and stuff but, but like I'm fine now with it like it like it, it's all yeah. good now like but I mean the, like, yeah. e like even in school and then just to yeah. a point where people, I guess, in college, well, maybe, um, like, not calling me racist names, I mean, like, just, you know, like, having a laugh just at me the whole time. And I just got mm. sick of it, like, you know, and just yeah. snapped. Of course. <laughs> of course. I know. Yeah. And you're, yeah, and you're, that's like, you, I mean, you have to, like, take back your power at some point. Mm hmm. And even if like the snapping doesn't feel good, it's like you gotta just let it let that be because it's just gonna keep happening on, until you do. Yeah. Um, okay, so I yeah, thanks for you know coming on the show. Sorry for holding up anyway. But let's okay, uh, just one more person, Mr. Jefferson, <laughs> the teacher <laughs> from the last game. Um, gosh, these one word things. <laughs> Creepy, weird. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, when you're, yeah, your skin just crawls and you just like from your gut and you're like, I don't know. Like, even if you do know why you're, it's just like a stealing. Yeah. You're just like. It's like in, in um, you know, in Stranger Things, when like the back of Will's neck just like bubbles up, it's like that. Please <laughs> tell not, me. It's not a word. It's yeah, a please tell me you watched Stranger Things season three. Yes. Oh, I, you see, the day it came out, I, I literally binge watched it. I was up till half four in the morning, all eight episodes, yeah. and it was incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely binge watched that. Um, it was a cool one. And was, poor like, Will. I feel like yeah he just wanted I to play know. a D, D Dungeons and Dragons I know yeah <laughs> he missed out on so much he just like wanted to go back mm. he doesn't want things to change what would be your favorite season so far um I mean I think still season one just because uh, maybe because so, it's, like... it's, it's so different from what we're, we're used to yeah yeah it was an introduction to the world and I just like where the kids were at like in that season was just awesome especially for how young they were and everything and yeah it's just a whole new world that we were brought into and I, I think that was still my favorite season I mean they're all amazing but yeah yeah was that quote from Aladdin a whole new world <laughs> we could sing it right now yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am I only mess. I like, wait, was I quoting? No, I did that the other day, and I sent a gift to my friend, and then I sent, but I sent Ariel the mermaid, and then we were like, wait, that's wrong. It's this is not Aladdin, and then we were like, 
it's a, song, a whole new world and then part of your world. Really oh, funny. yeah, yeah. Easily okay. confused. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. <laughs> like, Damn it, Disney. Yeah. So what kind of so OK, would you like to do any comedy you know, musicals, plays, whatever, you know, in the future? Like, like maybe Book of Mormon, say, or uh, Avenue that Q, awesome. or, you know, whatever, Hairspray even. Like, Hairspray is pretty funny. Yeah, I could yeah, totally see you as a, as uh, as Penny. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> um, uh, I definitely enjoy comedies and like being over the top and just crazy and weird. But I somehow have fallen into like dramatic and dark stuff. <laughs> I'm dramatic and dark. But, Look at me. <laughs> but I think it's because I'm more like more sarcastic than yeah, like in your face. Funny, you know what I mean? So, just kind of let it. Um, I think it just kind of pulls to that. Yeah. But, yeah. So, Sarah, thank you so much for coming on. I, you know, it's I've I've been wrecking your head asking you to come on the show <laughs> for the past t- two years. Oh, we, messing. <laughs> we made it. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, it's a long road. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, where can we find you on social media? Everything is Sarah J Bartholomew because um. There's an interior designer who's Sarah Bartholomew. Oh. Don't be confused. She's killing it right now, though. Yeah. She's got stuff at Pottery Barn. <laughs> um, Don't tell yeah. Phoebe from Friends. Don't tell Phoebe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't let Phoebe know. Don't get that apothecary table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sarah J. Bartholomew um, on all the places. I don't really go on Twitter that much. I'm more on instagram and facebook just their their communication yeah but yeah nice one so maybe down the line we'll see you on uh i guess like doing your own youtube channel and becoming a big game streamer just like the rest of lots of life is strange actors and actresses they all have yeah they are right yeah <laughs> what I the hell that. like <laughs> yeah um i was talking to it's so hard for me to remember real names now because you just eat Instagram names. So I'm like, what's your actual name? No, tell me and I'll tell you who they are. <laughs> um, wait, no, I'm going to find her right now. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's Chloe's voice, but I might, I might be Oh, uh, Ashley, is it? I'm like trying to go into my messages right now and find it, <laughs> but now it's like very low. Okay, wait. No, maybe it's not. Day here, Day from Lincoln. Who is it? Diane Hutton. Oh, Diane. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Diane. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 She. Uh... She plays Kate Marsh, the girl who's, uh, I'm, I'm not sounding bad, but she's suicidal in Life is Strange. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I thought Chloe, but yeah, I, she's looked, actually, I looked at the messages and she never said Chloe, so I just made that up. <laughs> sorry. No, she, she she's actually meant to come on the show. Uh, she agreed, but I, I'm i trying to, you know, just, uh, talk with her, you know, when to come mm-hmm. on, because she's just so busy, like, but. Uh, yeah, she has her own, she has her own podcast as well. And she and I were talking about doing that. Um, Dude, was go on. Yeah, I was just. Yeah, I was just. Uh, she. Um, she does that, right? Yeah, she like, I, I, like she was on Twitch last streaming. night as well and stuff, but uh, she's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's super cool. Yeah, again, like doing this has brought me into, uh, not just like, the, life is strange world, but just the world that like revolves around. The life is strange world so yeah, i'm still yeah. learning <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> still learning and understanding yeah um, but it's cool it's cool it's interesting it is uh yeah so guys please do check her out on instagram as well and facebook you have absolutely been uh incredible thank you so much for coming on as always you know really appreciate it and yeah you- absolutely thank you for having me awesome you can of course check us out on youtube twitter and instagram and for more i guess life is strange and podcast keep yeah. right here at IGS. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's me. It's me. You've come to take my do. I-